Trump endorses Roy Moore, we don't need a liberal Democrat patriots are cheering. After several hints and messages from White House representatives, for the first time President Donald Trump has openly come out in full support of Alabama Republican candidate Judge Roy Moore for Senate. He delivered the blistering announcement to a group of reporters, saying that having another liberal Democrat in the Senate would ruin his agenda and emphasize that Moore has denied the allegations, WND reports. I can tell you one thing for sure, comma, he said. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat Jones. Ivy looked at his record. It is terrible on crime. It is terrible on the border. It is terrible on the military. I can tell you for a fact, we do not need somebody that is going to be bad on crime, bad on borders, bad with the military, bad for the Second Amendment. Dot. Jones, though he s on the Democratic ticket, has been trying to appeal to Alabama s mostly conservative voters as being a strange conservative Democrat. Dot, but his zealous support for partial birth abortions and gun control have exposed him for the typical liberal he truly is. Instantly, the Democrats dogpiled him. Is an accused child molester better than a Democrat? Question mark. A shocked reporter repeated over and over, but the president's response was not surprisingly calculated and brilliant. Look, he denies it, comma, he said. You have to listen to him also. He said 40 years ago this didn't he happen. Dot. Of course, liberal reporters forced Trump to do some pandering for women even though the ones coming against Judge Moore are liars and tools of the masculine political establishment. Women are very special. I think it is a very special time, because a lot of things are coming out, and I think that is good for our society, and I think it is very, very good for women. And I am very happy a lot of these things are coming out. I am very happy it is being exposed. Don't. The political establishment has also dragged Trump over the coals for apparently responding much more swiftly to Democratic Senator Al Franken's scandal than Morris, trying to expose him for bias. He could have instantly roasted the left-wing propaganda slime balls playing gotcha by pointing out that they are two completely different cases Franken obviously being guilty with photographed evidence, and Morris so far innocent. But the president mercifully said this instead. Look. I don't want to speak for Al Franken. I don't know what happened, comma, Trump said. I just heard about Conyers two minutes ago. As far as Franken is concerned, he is going to have to speak for himself. Dot. Then they asked Trump if he would be campaigning for more if you LL remember. White House Legislative Director Mark Short said that the fact the president wasn't he campaigning for more indicated he probably didn't he support him. Just goes to show you how much he knew. Trump's response gave Mitch McConnell and John McCain simultaneous heart attacks. I'll be letting you know next week, comma, he said, hinting that he is about to go all in for more, before boarding the Marine One on his way to his Thanksgiving celebration in Florida. Before the plane even lifted off the ground, the crooked news network went into a tantrum, seething over the president's de facto endorsement of their archenemy Jeff Zellini was forced to correct himself multiple times when he called Moore a child molester and accused child molester. To sprinkle salt on many a liberal's wound, Politico reports that the president expressed skepticism of the women accusers in private all along. At first, the Trump administration sent mixed signals about its opinion on Roy Moore. Vice President Mike Pence's National Committee announced contributions to three dozen Republicans, but Moore wasn't he one of them. Yet the president was one of the only Republicans who didn't he condemn the Alabama candidate, something McConnell and his swamp demons acted on almost immediately. For a while, Trump is a neutral observer, waiting for enough facts to make a decision just as he promised. Then, the White House changed its tune. Trump gave personal approval to Kellyanne Conway to launch an attack on Moore's opponent, Democrat Doug Jones, during an interview with Fox and Friends. Conway tore into him, calling him a fake conservative who shouldn't he fool the voters, and declaring that a vote for him is a vote against tax reform. Next, the Office of Management and Budget, OMB. Director Mick Mulvaney on Monday affirmed that the Trump administration's stance on the issue is that Alabama voters should cast their vote for Judge Moore, according to The Hill. 
I don't think it s making any news to think that a Republican administration is going to want someone in the Senate who is going to vote for a Republican agenda and if they elect a Democrat to that office that s not going to happen comma Mulvaney said during a segment of Fox Business Network's Mornings with Maria Dot.